Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to a bonus video. We're doing something extra today because this isn't my normal content. We're not gonna be talking about dolls. So I wanted to go ahead and just like make a little bonus video for you guys. Uh, but we are talking about something that is also extremely exciting. And that is this super cute stuffed cat from a company called Chonker. So if you haven't heard of them, they're like a decently new company. I think they were founded in 2020. They are based in China and they specialize in making like realistic stuffed animals. This one's special though. We're going to be getting into him in a little second. His name is Percy. <laughs> I was really excited when they reached out to me. Spoiler alert. Um, they did reach out to me and send me Percy for free. So thank you to the Chonker team for gifting me him. I'm very excited about being able to have him and share him with you guys. This video isn't sponsored in the sense that they aren't paying me to make this video. I'm allowed to give you my full and honest opinion. And of course I will. I always will make sure that I do that. Um, but they did go ahead and gift me Percy. And then I also will have a discount code in the um, description down below along with a little link there so you guys can get five percent off if you wanted to buy percy as well i will earn commissions off of that so full disclosure there it is an affiliate link so be aware of that if you decide to use it but other than that i'm not receiving any compensation and again these are just my opinions about Percy here. Like I'm not going to be reading from a script or anything like that, but I am still really, really excited to share him with you. Again, I know this is something different for my channel, but what really got me was like the meaning behind Percy. So I said, he's not like a normal stuffed cat. And that is because he actually is an interactive cat. And the like point of designing this cat was essentially to be a replacement for a real pet for people who might not be able to, for one reason or another, have a pet. Maybe that's a child that like just isn't in a place where they're responsible enough to have a pet, or maybe they have some sort of special needs. And so having a pet might not be something that they're capable of doing. Or the one that got me is people who are elderly and potentially people who have dementia. I am not sure how many of you guys will know, because it's been a while since I mentioned this on the channel, but my dad actually does have dementia and it is pretty severe. He does have to live in a nursing facility because he needs full-time care. And so when I read that about the chonker, obviously my mind went to him. I'm getting a little emotional now, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what really prompted me to be interested in this was I thought that it was really sweet, the idea of making an interactive stuffed cat to kind of mimic that like animal companionship that I know means a lot to a lot of people. It means a lot to me and to be able to give that to people who can't have it from a real animal. Um, so that's extremely important to me. Sadly, I was not able to show this to my dad yet. He is, like I said, in a nursing facility. And right now there's some cases of COVID going around. He's fine, thankfully, but it's just kind of one of those things where I don't want to go visit him and like accidentally pick it up and potentially spread it to other people or get sick myself. So haven't been able to show him Percy yet, but I'm very, very excited to be able to go visit him and show him Percy because I think that he is going to really, really love this. I, I'm not even like the target audience, but I also think Percy is really cool. So let's go ahead and like actually get into it. I'm just sitting here getting a little bit emotional for no reason instead of actually talking about the cat. So I will like show close up shots. Um, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to end up editing this, but I'll show close up shots. And also I'm going to have to do that anyway because like I want you to be able to hear the way that he interacts and I'm not 100% sure that the microphone is going to pick it up from here but Percy has his little controls on his little toe beans here which also a huge thing first of all these are handmade which is really really cool to know that like each stuffed animal is being made by hand it's not just like a mass-produced thing it's a small company and they're making these and I think that's lovely but they're also like quite nice materials the fur is pretty soft, but what gets me is that the like beans on the toes are silicone. And I think they're, I want to say it was food grade silicone, like it's high quality stuff. So they feel like really squishy, but this one, this paw here is his little like remote control, you would say. So if I hold it, he meows when you turn him on. And then you can also have voice mode or like not voice mode. Right now I have voice mode turned on. So if I say, hello, Percy. He also meows, or you can say like, meow, meow. I think the last one is rise and shine, Percy. Like, <laughs> he makes little meows when you talk to him. I think that is so cute. Again, you can turn voice mode off. So if you like don't want to have him reacting to your voice, you don't have to have him reacting to your voice. But I think it's a really, really nice touch. And then if you like hold him close, he'll meow. I'm trying to on bud I'm trying to get you to purr 
he just wants to meow right now. <laughs> There's a sensor in his back. There's also sensors in his tail and then in his face. I know, I'm sorry. I grabbed your tail, baby. My bad, my bad. <laughs> but I really want to get the... I know, there you go. Ooh. I'm really close to the mic, so I hope you can hear that. If you press down, he'll start like doing a little heartbeat to kind of mimic, obviously, a real animal having a heartbeat, which is also super nice. And I'm sure that would be very comforting to different people. I want the purr though. <laughs> Percy, please. <laughs> I hope that that's picking up. Obviously, like I said, I'll be getting some close up shots so that you guys can see it more clearly and hear it more clearly, hopefully. I know, I know, bud. We're <laughs> I have to stop touching him because he's just going to keep meowing and I'm not going to be able to talk. But obviously, as you can see, he makes like a few different noises, a few different meows. He'll purr. He does the heartbeat. And I think it's all really, really cute. It honestly reminds me of being younger and having for real friends, which I think they still make. But like, I don't know, they're kind of weirder now. But obviously, this is like more aimed at being realistic instead of like I, I've seen like the for real friends have like tigers and crazy stuff like that. This is aimed at being genuinely like a slightly more realistic animal but still giving you like those interactions and i think that is just so so precious he does have a couple of other buttons one of which controls the voice mode and then the other one is like a volume button so i have mine turned up all the way so that hopefully you can hear him <laughs> but you can turn him down if you want to and then when you are ready to not have percy on anymore you can just hold that button again i know he makes a little like tired sound and he just goes right to sleep and then you know he's turned off so he's not gonna be making any sounds or anything anymore he also has i want to say it's 10 minutes if you don't interact with him for 10 minutes he'll go into like an auto sleep mode so he'll make that little sound like he's tired and then he will be asleep so he's like saving battery there i just think it is so like precious like it's very cute and it's funny because when i had first gotten the email, I was like, oh, this is super, like, I can't wait to share this with my dad. And I still can't wait to, but I personally like it more than I thought I would. Not that I didn't think I would like it, but just like as someone who has actual real life cats, I didn't think that I would like feel attachment necessarily. I hope that makes sense. Like I thought I would think it's cute, but I didn't think I'd feel this strongly. Um, but I do, I think this thing is just absolutely precious. I think that Percy is just such a cute little companion. Um, my cats violently disagree, which I guess speaks to the lifelikeness of Percy. They don't like getting near him. And especially when I have had him like turned on and he's purring and meowing, they are not happy about it. Um, but again, I think that for the product that actually says that it's doing what it should be doing. Cause like if my actual cats are irritated and a little bit threatened by it, Presumably they are assuming that Percy is a real life cat, which is like kind of funny and also kind of the point. Um, so there is this black and white one. Now with this, I actually had to get two. So the first one that they sent me, unfortunately didn't work, but they had excellent like customer service. They were like super quick getting back to me and sending me out a replacement. So I'm not, I can't even be mad, you know, like, yeah, it didn't work, but they were so on top of it. And now I actually get to show you both colors. So this one is the black and white. But then we also have the ragdoll color variety, which is also so, so stinking cute. I just, I love the colors on this one. But this one, one of my cats is a tuxedo cat. So like kind of bonding with that. So happy accident there. It ends up being the case where I actually get to show you both color varieties kind of more in person. Absolutely precious. They also come with instructions, obviously, on how you can work with your Percy. And then they come with a little comb, like a metal comb, which is actually like, genuinely metal like it's a genuinely nice comb so you can comb through their fur and kind of have that act of as if you were grooming a real cat of course without it being a real cat and then they have the charger that they come with as well i will show you when i do like all the close-up shots again not sure how i'm going to edit this but i'll show you how the charging port goes in it is a little tricky to get together but i totally understand why it's hidden inside his battery paw there's like a little compartment in here again i'll show you close up because you're not going to be able to see it here but there is a hidden compartment where you can charge him i think that depending on like the person who is using this it could be difficult for them to use it themselves like my dad personally there's no way that i could like leave percy with him because he wouldn't be able to figure out how to charge percy but obviously not everyone who has dementia is like at the same place or like, has even the same type of dementia and you can have it be used 
by other people too. Like you don't have to just have this be used by someone who has like memory issues. So I think for some people it would be totally fine. Just kind of a little warning there that like depending on who this is for, it might be a bit of an issue. But, uh, yeah, I think that just about sums up Percy. If I haven't found any other place in the video to put them, roll those um, like in-depth clips here so you guys can get a better idea of how he looks and how he sounds. Woo! Okay, time for some glamour shots. So now you can see more up close Percy's little face and like the whiskers and the nose and everything. You can see the little toe beans that I was talking about and the silicone that they're made from. And that is on all of his little paws. They're like squishy. But this one is the one where you can like use the controls. So there we have Percy meowing on. <laughs> Hello, Percy. I just think that is so cute. I like the fact that if you go meow meow, he meows back because like, as a crazy cat person, I am meowing at my cats. I'm gonna pull the mic a little closer and I'm gonna stop talking so you can hopefully hear that. And then we're... I really hope that's able to pick up on the mic. <laughs> I don't want to get it any closer because I'm low-key afraid that if I get the mic too close, it's going to like <laughs> be too loud and like blow out the mic. But the heartbeat, hopefully you're able to hear. I feel like definitely the purr you're able to hear. And then if we turn him off, you can hear the cute little sigh again when he goes to sleep. Yeah. Absolutely precious. And yeah, just to give like a little 360, he's like permanently posed laying down. The fur is long, so like... <laughs> It does kind of get disheveled, which makes it super convenient that uh, he comes with a comb. Let me go ahead and show that off. So this is the comb that he comes with. This is what I was saying when it's like, it's a genuine nice comb. Like the metal on there is so nice. So if we just dishevel Percy a little bit here, maybe I've been like petting a little too rough. We can go in and smooth his fur all out. So that he just looks like the prettiest little kitty on the block. <laughs> okay, we are on the floor. Don't judge me. It's like the easiest place for me to be able to show you how to charge this. So I'm just using the ragdoll one because I already had the charging port like pulled out and everything. And it was just easier for me to go ahead and show you on this one. So in here in the paw is like a hidden little compartment with a snap closure. And then you can see deep within the hidden compartment is a little black charging port. So if you plug in. Ooh, oh no, I've lost it. This is what I meant by like, it's a little tricky because it's real deep in there and you definitely need like two hands to get to it. There we go. But if you hold it securely, then you can plug it in and you'll see there's a little red light on Percy's belly that'll show you that he's not fully charged. And then once he's fully charged, that will turn green. But yes, guys, that is all that I have for you today. I know this is, as I said before, quite different from my normal content, but I really did think it was worth it. If you've watched me for any amount of time, you know that I am a huge, huge cat person. My cats genuinely mean everything to me. Like I love animals so much. And so to me, a product that can help provide like some semblance of that comfort and that connection to people who can't have actual animals, I think is a really lovely and like wholesome idea. And again, I'm very excited to be able to share this with my dad once I can go visit him again. So I thought this was really cute. And I thought even though it's not dolls, it's definitely something worth sharing with you guys. So if you think that Percy would be good for you or someone else in your life, as I said before, I'll have that affiliate link in the description down below so you can pick him up. He does run for 99 US dollars, which I understand is a pretty expensive like stuffed animal if you just view it like that. But considering the fact that he is interactive and then also the fact that he is handcrafted, I feel like that price point is pretty justified. And like, y'all know I will complain about price points on this channel. Like if Mattel is acting up and charging $100 for a doll that isn't worth it, I'm going to say something. But I do think that it's different having Mattel, a huge corporation, charge $100 for a doll versus having a stuffed cat that is interactive, that is handmade by a small company. Those are just two different things to me. So a little bit on the pricey side, but I genuinely think that it could be worth it for people who like can't, again, have a cat 
or even if you just think this is super cute and you want to splurge on yourself. I'm not here to judge. Um, so yeah, that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you were able to enjoy me showcasing Percy for y'all. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.